Walter Kelly was a big man with jet black hair, brown skinned man. Played the trumpet and I sang in his band for a while. He tried to make love to me once, but I didn't want no part of him because he was too good looking and he already had a gang of women. Now everybody expected because I was in his band, he could have do with me like he wanted. He thought that at one time himself, but I got him straight on that. He was sitting in his car. He had a a car with a top you could put down. And we were sitting in his car just laughing, singing, and fooling around when he put his hand under my dress. Now I had men put their hand under my dress before they want to see what you got. They like to see how it fit in their hand. They say, uh, oh, they can tell what kind of woman you is. <laughs> Walter Kelly got his hand all the way up under my dress and he touched me there. I told him to stop. He just laughed. We was drinking from a pint bottle. I took that bottle and broke it on a car handle. I cut my hand pretty bad, but I put that glass up to his throat. Blood was running all down my hand and everywhere. I told him to lick it. Told him I wanted him to taste my blood, because if he didn't move his hand from under my dress, I was going to taste his. I rubbed my hand all over his face. There was blood everywhere. My hand seemed like it wasn't going to stop bleeding. He moved his hand. And I got on out the car. Found out later I was on my period and I was mad. Told myself I wish I had cut him. Cause there wasn't nobody's blood in that car but mine. <laughs> he never did mess with me no more. And we became good friends. Now, I quit singing about two years after that night in the car. I just stopped. Did it to myself, say I don't want to sing no more. It had lost something. The melody is something that I couldn't tell. I just know it stopped having any meaning for me. Now, after I quit singing, my hair turned gray. Hair turned gray, I didn't even know. I went upstairs in that bathroom, seeing I had gray hair, seemed like I didn't have nothing to show for. I said, I'm gonna die. And ain't nobody gonna miss me. So then I got dressed. <laughs> said, I'm gonna go find me a man. If nothing else, he might miss me in the morning when I'm gone. Now we went to the Ellis Hotel, and he had a, a mustache and a big hat. It was that hat that made him look nice. <laughs> but he was a rough man turned me over his knee and spanked me. Now that was the first time anybody ever did that. He asked me, did I like it? I say, I didn't know he'd have to do it again. It had been a long time since somebody had touched me. It kind of felt good just to know I had been touched. We had a good time. And then it was time to go. Now I asked him if he was gonna miss me. He said he was, but I don't know he was telling the truth. I went back and looked in that mirror and my hair still gray. I told myself I'm still a woman, gray hair and dog. 